Hi everyone, happy new year and welcome back to Get Good at Golf. Today we are talking about the basics and we're going to try and help you hit your driver that little bit further but also that little bit straighter and keep the ball in play. Now one of the big factors that we see quite often is so many people get tee height wrong. So we're going to address that in this video, hopefully save you guys some shots, save you guys some balls and help lower your scores. So you can see here on the Golf Sun system I've set this tee up at 2.4 inches. Now to anyone with sanity, you would see that is a little bit too high because you can see pretty much all of the ball is over the crown of this driver. Now, ideally what we want here is something that's a little bit lower and we'll talk through this in this video, but that is risking ruining your brand new driver that you've maybe got for Christmas or that you are working towards getting when the new drivers are released. So you could use this and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video because it's all specialist to yourself it's all kind of subjective how would i hit this shot now for me i'm very worried about how i'm going to strike this i'm worried for the sensors up there to be honest but i'm also worried about this ball going left because if you have the ball too high you're pretty much going to have to have the ball forward in your stance because you want to get that low point of the driver here you will see long drive players tee the ball up like this but what you will also see is a low point that's about here a spine angle that goes here and a really incredibly fast release where the club has very little dynamic loft on it so we're using a nine and a half degree driver here it's actually a ten and a half degree driver that is taken down to nine and a half degrees but that's around about where i want my driver because i know that's going to give me the optimum launch if i have a go at this this could go anywhere guys but so as you can see that doesn't always work we actually topped that i'll have one more go and we'll see if we can get this out there i'm feeling like i'm having to really back up and get this this isn't something we'd recommend but i think trial and error is very important and that's that's the one i was talking about i've struck that okay it's gone a long way left Unfortunately, it's gone a long way left into the hazard as well. So we didn't get much ball speed there because it didn't come out the middle of the face primarily because of the tee height. We will have a little mulligan here and we'll have another go. But also you'll note that the spin weight was really low. So it was dropping out of the air because I've had to hit this so far on the way up. And yes, we do want a nice low spin rate, but we want an optimized spin rate to your launch. You want to be able to launch the ball through a nice window in the air, but also have around two and a half thousand spin. So if we move this tee down now and we'll move it down to say 1.6. 1.6 is where a lot of people would probably have their ball with the driver as you can see. So we've got this, I'll show you a close-up now exactly where that ball looks at the crown of this driver. Now for me that allows me to pretty much have the ball where I want it in my stance. Inside the feet before I had it pretty much outside of my left foot so it's always going to be difficult to control that driver but I want it around here just inside my left big toe so that then allows me to rotate into the ball I can move my weight left into the lead side but also have my spine angle back so that's going to allow me to release the club as I do want to so hopefully that's going to give us the shot window that we do want the launch that we want the spin rate that we want and just by having that spine angle back here we can hit much more consistent and long drives <laughs> just like that one you can see that straight down the fairway cutting back nicely should be pitching around 260 to 270 yards 270 on the nose 160 ball speed still 2000 spin so still a pretty low spin number there if we would maybe got 2200 2300 that ball may have stayed in the air a little bit longer we may have got 270 to 280 so it's a big difference what optimization can do with your t height and just for example if i show you one that's too low now and we now have a tee that is an inch in height. So that's going to be castle tee wise. Chris, is that going to be a yellow tee pretty much? And as you can see, maybe a blue. You can see on the overlay that this ball is now pretty much in the sweet spot of the driver. And that's where a lot of people sometimes get this wrong because although the ball's in the sweet spot, dynamically that's not where you're going to have that driver impact that's not where the club's going to be passing through because we're not going to hit the ground with the driver hopefully we don't want any contact with the ground and for me to get this ball out the middle i would have to have contact with the ground so i'm going to have to really try and almost hit down on this which is going to impart too much spin the ball will go up in the air a little bit higher we're going to lose ball speed because it's probably going to be low out the face as well so all in all even if i put a pretty good consistent swing on this you can see that that ball has gone a lot higher with a lot more spin it's actually going to go in the hazard or even out of bounds 
Oh, path ball OB as well. That's the last thing you want because all you've done there really is have the wrong tee height. Because the ball was teed too low, you actually start to dynamically put more loft on the ball. And if you put more loft on that club with a driver, the face is going to open ever so slightly. You're going to cut, cut across that ball a little bit to try and get it up. So the best you're really going to be able to do is hit a really low shot like that and that's pretty much the best I can do is that going to pitch up at 260 no it's actually pitched at 244 so we've lost 25 26 yards there just by having the ball too low on the tee guys thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed that smash that subscribe button below and apart from that we'll see you all at the same time tomorrow to help you get good at golf